Mom, what are you doing? I'm having a ball, can't you tell? Can I help? No, this is my reward. <laughs> After working like a dog all week, I get to spend my Saturday scrubbing fossilized meatloaf off these burners. I'm out of here. Hold it. Where are you going? Well, I'm going to the park to play football. Can I come? Forget it. Darling, are your chores done? Well, they're halfway done. Well, then you can go halfway to the park. But you let Becky go to the mall with Aunt Jackie and Crystal. It's not fair. Well, neither's 18 hours of labor giving birth to a kid who won't even vacuum the living room run. <laughs> oh, please, not the labor speech again. 18 miserable. Okay, okay, I'll vacuum. Hours. I'll vacuum. I'm vacuuming. Babe, I looked everywhere. Where's the good rags? They're hanging up in your closet. <laughs> All I can find is this flimsy stuff. I need substantial rags to work on the truck. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Dwight, what's up? <laughs> Besides that. <laughs> oh, yeah, bring the whole run set. No, we got plenty of beer. All right, see you in a few, Buckaroo. Is Dwight coming over here? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Nothing. Just every time you're with him, your IQ drops 10 points. <laughs> Hey, he's bringing his tools over. He's going to help me tune up the truck. Oh, well, you're not going to get that truck tuned up. Are you guys are just going to be out there in the driveway drinking beer and spitting and talking about who's got the biggest hood ornament? Hell, honey, that's not even a contest. <laughs> I know, no one can spit like you, honey. I love watching you draw it. You guys are so funny. You're like, yeah, I bet those bears are going to kick some butt on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> you got that down. Maybe you should come out and help us work on a truck. I probably should. That's the only way you'll probably get it done. You and Dwight never finished nothing but a six-pack. <laughs> so happens Dwight and I have finished a lot of stuff. Yeah, like that utility room you started three years ago. Utility room is not a truck. Can I embroider that on a pillow? <laughs> yes. And you can embroider this. By 4 o'clock this afternoon, that truck will have new points and plugs and we'll be running like a race car. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Would you care to make a small wager? Oh, name it. Okay, if that truck ain't working by 4 o'clock, then you got to clean this oven today and every month for the rest of your life. <laughs> But if I win, which I will, you got to do all the snow shoveling this winter and every winter for the rest of your life. All right, you're on, buckaroo. <laughs> Here you go. One peanut butter and jelly sandwich coming right up. I like it better with the peanut butter on top. <laughs> there you go. Hey, Roseanne. Hi, Dwight. Hey there, Scooter. Hi, Mr. Scooter. What are you doing, Dwight? Beer break. Well, you don't just go in somebody's house and start taking stuff out of their fridge. Um, Dan said I could. Well, what Dan says don't matter around here. He knows that. <laughs> Do you hear that, Dan? It's true. I'm merely a figurehead. I hear you're going to be shoveling some snow this winter. Yeah, Rose, you better be nice to Dwight. He said he'd get you a good discount on a snowblower. <laughs> hey, you think Freddie wants a beer? He's breathing, ain't he? It's Freddie out there, too. Yep, got all three of us on the job now. Get worried, girl? Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm shaking in my boots. Don't stick your finger in there. Tastes better that way. That's disgusting. Want me to put it back? Dan, you told me he was housebroken. I lied. Come on, boy. <laughs>